go. We've been gone to the beach for a week. Noah is dying for some frog legs to eat. And not the kind you get in a restaurant. His are a lot better. We're going to show you how that he gigs or blow darts his frogs. Um, how that he skins them out. And how that we fry them up and eat them. The weapon of choice is a... Tim Wells 625 Magnum blowgun. There's a baby turkey print right here. All right, we're about to smoke a big frog. Did you get up? No. Oh, I see another one. That usually means he's got it, folks. When he throws his weapon down. Might have got away. The blowgun is much harder than it looks or sounds. We slapped her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. That didn't take long. I'm not driving with that thing hopping around. Oh, no. Gotta be a bag or something. Okay, now it's a downpour and he spotted another frog. It's going to be hard to hear. It's raining really hard.
Is it one?
it's way over in there. How did that happen? Got it? For now, but we're going to have it. Alright, got the darts out. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to make sure. He's very dead, but this is reflexes. Cut the head off first to make sure it's dead. Oh. Cut right. Head is off. Ma'am, cut right here on the back. I'm trying to get it where I can mm -hmm. see it good. Okay. Cut right there. Across the back. Yeah. The more we video, the better that we'll learn how to do the angles and stuff. Cut a circle all the way around. A circle all the way around? Mm-hmm. The belly. All the way around the belly, a circle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, that head is just looking at me, Noah. The channel <laughs> locks. All right, get channel lock. Peel the skin back. Peel the skin back, and one day you said it's just like taking off pants. Mm -hmm. You can just chop that's it really at the nice ankle and joint. Cut it at the ankle joint. And then cut it right here at the hip. And that's all you eat of it. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's one. Okay, so first cut the head off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the you cut the circle around the belly. Mm -hmm. See, I'm learning too. You make it look pretty easy. And it could probably be uh, a little easier with a really sharp, sharper mm -hmm. knife, which Noah has, but he had a little accident a few months ago and we're still kind of <laughs> traumatized over that knife. So we're using one that's not as sharp. Okay, now yep. you got a knife around, a uh, cut around the whole belly, and mm -hmm. now channel locks pulling the pants off. Mm -hmm. Cut at the ankle joints. Mm -hmm. And the hip. And then the hip joints. Alright, and then ready to wash. Mm -hmm. And then fry and eat. Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Well, it's actually my wife's kitchen, but I'm just borrowing it for right now. Today we're going to be showing you how to cook up some tasty, super delicious, fresh frog legs from right out here in the wilderness. Come on over here, I want to show you what we're doing. 
First of all, you're gonna need a little bit of egg wash, which is simple, a couple eggs, a little splash of milk, whisk it up real quick. Some flour, self-rising, not all-purpose crap, self-rising. Okay, we got some season all, season salt. We have some garlic powder, some Dano's spicy seasoning for just a little kick, a little bit of onion powder, and then we're gonna garnish it off with a little parsley on top. Not sure if it has any taste, it just looks pretty. All right, here we're gonna go, we're gonna get started. First of all, I'm gonna throw a little dash of everything into our flour, let's get going. I don't have any set recipe or nothing, just kind of a little dash of everything, but don't overdo it with the garlic powder because it'll go crazy. Just a little splash of that. Little splash of the onion powder. Little splash of the Dano spicy. I'm gonna get us a fork. And we'll just mix all that in together. You know you got it just right when your flour turns just a little tint to it. Can you see that? It's when it starts turning a little bit of color, you know you're good. This is the best way that I've found to cook fried chicken, frog legs, anything you want. So now, take a little frog legs. I'm gonna dip them in the egg wash. Over to our flour mix. Get a good thick coating on there. And if you like it real good and crispy and thick, you always give it another little dip again. That's what I usually do. Give him a good, good coating. And right here, we just got your basic frying pan, a little bit of vegetable oil. Up here on about medium heat, maybe a little bit less, but make sure the grease is hot first before you put it in there or else it gets kind of soggy. That dipped up good. Now, I'm gonna ease that right down in there. Ooh boy, it looks good. Do the same thing with this set. Pull that out. Give him a little dip. Good coating. Another dip again. So, and ease it down in gently. I'm gonna wash the credit off my hand. <clears throat> now we're gonna let that cook probably three, four minutes or so on each side. <clears throat> Just till it's good, crispy, golden brown. Then you know you are really, really getting after it. Mm -mm -mm. Smells good, don't it? Just a little bit. You can just kind of eyeball it as you go. Depending on how crispy you like it or soft. I like mine kind of crispy. So I let them cook a little longer than usual. But as normal, your bigger legs will take a little longer. Smaller legs will take a little less time. And I also recommend, if you want a big <coughs> karate chop of flavor, 
get you some Cajun season mix in too. It makes for a really good, really good batter. That is delicious. Oh yeah, we're going quick. Ooh yeah, get a shot of that right there, no. Mmm. Yes, yeah, Sursky. That make your mouth water. Cause mine sure is. Mmm. Turned up on that side to get that back side done good. And like I said, <clears throat> you can hit it <clears throat> just a little bit of parsley, and that will make it look pretty, if nothing else. And there you go. World famous, delicious frog legs from out in the wild, what the kids call organic. Good stuff, there you have it. <clears throat>